by no means was that in my mind when I wrote the song, but um, <laughs> there was that resonance. And there was also just something sonically at that moment in the season as that episode ended that just felt, it just felt right. What's up, everyone? Tanya here with popculture.com, and I'm so excited to welcome back Princess Goes to the Butterfly Museum, who are about to head out on their first U.S. tour this spring. So lots to talk about, but first things first, congrats on the upcoming tour. I'm so excited. I know the fans are super stoked. You guys will be visiting about like a dozen cities this spring. Um, You know, coming off the U.K. tour this past winter, how are you guys feeling? really excited. We were supposed to do this in 2020 and then it got knocked out from from the pandemic. So we feel like we're just getting back and just thrilled to be playing live and playing these songs. Can't wait. We'd played, um, I don't know, a dozen, 15 gigs in New York, but uh, that had been about it. So the UK tour was a a first time just jumping right in the deep end of playing a a string of shows in multiple cities. And it was a blast. And um, it was, um, I think we learned a lot. I think uh, we, we, we grew a lot. And um, yeah, we're excited to, to keep the ball rolling now in the West Coast and a little bit inland of that on this, uh, on this new, new leg. Yeah. And uh, what do you guys want fans to know about these upcoming shows? A lot of them are sold out. And yeah. that's, that's pretty cool. And then mm-hmm. the ones that aren't... Um, we want them to know there's still tickets in Salt Lake <laughs> Oakland, and Oakland. All right. So to so go get them and uh, come ready to have a good time. And, you know, yeah, I mean, I hope, uh, yeah, people, people will, uh, will, uh, show up maybe not knowing what to expect and seeing something that they didn't expect and, um, going on a ride that they, uh, didn't know they were going to take. And, uh, hopefully the landing will be nice and nice and smooth. Yeah. And, you know, I know that a lot of the shows are getting sold out. So, um, will there be more dates going into maybe the summer and maybe even expanding selfishly to the North? I think we'll definitely be doing more touring this year. It's just, Mm -hmm. yeah, a matter of time. Well, that will be very exciting. I'm so, I know that the fans are super pumped about this, but let's talk about the music. Let's talk about Sideways. Coming, It's uh, Off Thanks for Coming. It was released this past month as your next single. Um, so I love this song. Uh, I think there's a lot of fun elements to it. And what's really interesting is you guys have now a music video that you've kind of, you know, left it for the fans open to interpretation. They can create their own imaginative sort of, you know, backgrounds to this. Um, what made you guys choose this song for the fans as opposed to some of the others? Mike's idea, he just said, why don't we just shoot sideways against a green screen and perform it like we do live and then let people mess with it. I mean, I think originally we thought maybe we'd have somebody do some special effects and that would be to release that version. And then once we we put it together. We were like, Oh, this is cool. Like it, the green is sort of beautiful, but it also is this blank slate that lets people sort of project what they want. And, uh, I don't know people have already started to send us stuff and it's like, it's, it's pretty great seeing these things come back in with us playing, you know, in front of a building in Ohio or on a beach, you know, and I mean, God knows where else people are going to go with this, but hopefully they go far out and we, we, we get our minds blown, but I know we we're I think as a band exploring this, period where you know with remixes and and this video of just letting people create and encouraging people to create with us on on top of us whatever um just just make shit it's a good mm-hmm. thing yeah and you know um the fun thing is that we i just saw a sneak peek of it so i'm wondering are we going to see like more of these music videos somewhere is it going to be just on instagram maybe on youtube because I'm, I'm sure the creations have been fun for you guys to siphon through i'm not sure exactly um when, how, or where we'll release other versions, but um, I, I would I would imagine it would be on the YouTube channel and um, and beyond. Yeah, has there been one that's been really interesting for each of you that you've watched so far from the fan you know submissions? Somebody mashed it up with a uh, the movie Sideways about with Paul Giamatti again you know, with the dr- wine drinking. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was actually really really well done and funny. Um, and and. It's just been available for download for a couple of days. So we haven't seen that many, but they're definitely being made right now. Yeah. Michael, do you have a favorite so far? Oh, um, 
I mean, yeah, that one cracked me up. And, um, but like Peter said, there, a lot of them I think are in the works. So yeah. I'm not gonna, yeah. I, I feel like, I, I feel like I don't have a good enough cross section to pick a favorite yet. <laughs> right. You have all this music coming out. Another great track, which I love so much is ketamine. And you guys are actually doing something very special with this by releasing an EP called, called uh, ketamine remixes. So I'm just wondering what can fans expect from this collection and, you know, what, why ketamine, why this one song to remix? Yeah, I mean, that is a good question in terms of why we picked that particular song. I think it's one that, um, that we've always loved. It's, it's, it's an early, uh, song. We, it's on our first EP and, um, it's one that's always kind of confounded us in terms of, um, playing it live and, and, and capturing, uh capturing it in the right way and um i think peter had the idea uh of of um of doing a remix and then the, that expanded into the idea of um maybe shipping it out to multiple people and and in the spirit of just collaboration and and giving things away and seeing what comes back um oh sorry my bonus man um you know there was there was that um spirit involved but i think ketamine there's something about it that's um sort of spare but also lush and maybe invites remixing in a way maybe some other songs wouldn't it's just um there there's room for other ideas to emerge um yeah. within the 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 architecture of the song and and um and that's revealed itself you know as we've as we've been um getting these these other artists sending us remixes, it's kind of mind blowing um, how different they all are and how great they all are. Beautifully said it, 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 there's an emptiness to that track. I mean, it's one of my favorite songs we've ever written together and, but it literally consisted of a drum beat and Matt's atmospheric landscape and Mike's beautiful melody and lyrics. And so that was most, one of the simplest songs we've ever made. So it was easy to strip that off and let people, have almost this blank slate, you know, so it lended itself perfectly to the, to being remixed. I think. And not all songs I think are made meant to be remixed or mm. definitely don't need remixes of every song, but that one is perfect. Yeah. And is this EP going to be a tease of more music to come this year? And is it going to be sprinkled on the tour as well? I mean, we may well um, perform a, a sort of a version of one of the remixes on, on this, on this next leg of the tour. And, um, and we also include in our set some songs that have yet to be released and that will um, likely be on um, an upcoming full length that we pretty much have in the can. I'm not sure when that entire record will be released, but um, we will likely be, if nothing else, releasing some singles from that record um, before the year is out for sure. Yeah. That's going to be fun. I know a lot of fans, they, you know, they have been looking through all the music catalogs. They have all the lyrics sort of written out. I think they've talked to you guys about the lyrics to confirm them and stuff. And they're just so in love with this music. And, you know, taking it back to ketamine just for a minute, I know that I also think it's like the perfect track and it's got the most beautiful lyrics. And um, I know a lot of new listeners got to hear it, Michael, on Dexter New Blood this past season. And I feel like it was such a fun surprise for a lot of us because at the end of the episode, we had no idea that song was going to pop up. So aside from the obvious reason, you know, for the song's title, what made you want to pick this song in particular for the show? I mean, honestly, um, I, I left it up to, you know, the music supervisor and other people to, you know, decide when and if they thought a song of ours would fit into the season. And um, I got an email saying that they wanted to play ketamine on the end credits of the fifth episode. And uh, I think um, the, I mean, in a way, it's 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 a it's a tongue-in-cheek reference to the fact that Dexter, in this new season, he didn't. It's not what he used um, back in the day, but in this new season to uh, knock out his victims, he was using ketamine that he'd sold stolen from a from a veterinarian's office, mm -hmm. and um, that by no means was that in my mind when I wrote the song. But um, okay. there was that resonance, and there was also just something sonically at that moment in the season as that episode ended that just felt it just felt right 
um, to, to, uh, the people who were making those decisions. And I agreed and, uh, yeah, I was thrilled. I mean, it was, it was, a, it was a cool way to just, um, if nothing else, maybe people heard it and liked it. Maybe I think some wondered if that was me singing or just like the song and, and, and explored it from there and discovered from there. But, um, yeah, it was, it was a nice, it was a nice, maybe not so heavy handed way to, <laughs> to, to insert a little princess into the, into the Dexter reboot. Yeah. I, I thought it was great because like I al already knew who was singing the song, but a lot of people online, like the reception must be so nice for you guys when you're having all these new fans all the time, especially these ones now who've just watched the show and they got to hear the music. Like what's that felt for you guys? So cool. And so cool of the show to put it in, in, in there. And, and I thought what the most remarkable thing that I found was just reading some of the comments was just that people thought it sounded like Mike singing, which I thought found really interesting since I don't know how, how they, I don't know where they got that from, but um, yeah. they recognized his voice singing the song. I thought that was like, wow, that's really cool. Uh -huh. I, I don't know if you guys got to watch the finale because I know you're not big fans of Michael's Dexter, but you know, I do have to say, I kind of, I kind of imagined, you know, Michael, I feel like Harrison driving off at the end would have been actually perfect with tomorrow's screams. I just felt like that would have been like chef's kiss. That'd been like a great, sort of moment. I don't know. <laughs> oh, like yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Um, I actually really, um, I mean, I was I, I love that. Um, um, the national song that's actually there. I was I was I was all for that. But uh, yeah, that would have worked, too. Maybe we didn't we didn't try it. I felt like <laughs> it might have been a little mm -hmm. a little much. Yeah, but, it, <laughs> it definitely would have. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Before I do let you guys go, I have one of the most important questions I have to ask all of you. And a lot of fans have been wondering, for, so get ready for this. But when will you restock the merchandise? Because we need our mugs. We need our T-shirts. We need all of it. So like, when is that coming back? Is Are we going to be able to see all that, especially when the tour is starting up? Are we going to be able to, you know, get all that stuff to wear it and show our love? Oh, hell yeah. And, that, and I think we're a whole new line of merch is about to hit and hopefully they'll update the online store as well, but certainly we'll be selling it on tour and, and we're, we're gearing up for a, a big merch sort of store. So thank you for. Of course. <laughs> and I'm wondering each of you, Matt, Michael and Pete, um, which of this, which song are you so excited to perform on this U S tour? Well, actually the, like Mike said, the version of the remix that we're going to perform of ketamine, we're, we're, we're doing a new, set for this tour so that's exciting in itself and and okay. since we haven't played that I'm really curious and actually we added a, a couple new ones that we haven't played we're ending the show with a new song so really curious to see how those go and excited to try out a new set i would say um yeah we we are throwing a couple of new tunes in here um that we haven't that we didn't play ever or no i guess we just didn't play on the uk tour so i'm excited for those um, but yeah, I'm just excited for the whole thing and the whole journey and seeing people and seeing some friends out there that I haven't seen in a while, you know, might mm -hmm. come to the shows hopefully. So yeah, looking forward to all of it. Yeah. Super stoked. Michael, what about you? I don't know. I mean, I definitely agree with what, how, how, how Peter and Matt both answered that. Um, I, I, I mean, truly it's, you know, it's, whatever song we're, we're playing is the one I love performing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, lo <laughs> I love it's just hard. sort of like being yeah. inside. It, it, they're like our children, you know, we love yeah. them equally and we love them and, and they alternate being our favorites. They're our favorite while we're playing them, you know? Well, Michael, Matt, Peter, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited for the new tour, the music coming out, and everything you have planned for this year. We cannot wait. Guys, for more with Princess Ghost of the Butterfly Museum, keep it locked to popculture.com for the latest. <laughs>